back this torque sensor with the robot's clear in, and the slip ring up, up on top. The slip ring is used to uh, transmit the air and the electrical down through the coil shaft of the robot down to the transducer and the gripper. When we start loading, first thing we do is when we dock with the part, we check to see if we're overloaded. If there's a barrel up on top or something major that the nut's not down all the way, we create too much force and the robot will abandon that operation. Now once we rotate in a few threads, we engage the torque reading about the Z-axis. And when we hit the finger tightness, we open the gripper, stop the robot, and then unwind on the way back up. Well, there's different customer configurations. Uh, different adapters, quarter inch, you know, eighth MPT, whatever it might be. So what we've done is we made it so that we always have a common pickup. We use angular grippers that come in in the gap to pick up the product. No matter what size it is, they always have a hex and there's always a gap. Like I said before, the laser beam, we measure the gap, it's always there. So that's the offload gripper. Now I want to show you the rotor escapement. One goal we had on this machine is to make set up as quick as possible. What we did is we incorporated every size of the plastic thread protector that's available. And we just pull a spring-loaded pin, rotate to the correct size, and then let go, and it locks in. You can see all the different sizes that we accommodate. And obviously the bolt feet are set up for one particular size and that happens to be a, a half inch MPT and it's this one. Let's say a fitting was tipped on it. The robot will automatically start picking from the other side. If I close the tray and open the other side and we'll come back. Yeah. <laughs> 